Mindalo is an iconic Goan dish marinated in aromatic spices, slow cooked to perfection, and loved by one and all. Hi, you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. Mindalo is the perfect dish for the festive season, so let's get started. Let's start by making the spice blend for our marinade. To get a smooth paste, it's best to grind the dry ingredients first and then add the wet. We're going to go in with 30 Kashmiri chilies and we're going to de-seed 15 of them. We're going to put in the ones with the seeds first. Just snipping off the top. These chilies are going to give our marinade loads of flavor and a gorgeous red color. To that, let's add two teaspoons of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of peppercorns. To give the marinade an incredible glow, we're gonna add two teaspoons of turmeric powder. We're gonna to toss in 20 cloves, one fourth teaspoon of mustard seeds, and a three inch stick of cinnamon. Break it into smaller bits before adding it in. Now let's blend the dry ingredients into a fine powder. Now we're gonna go in with the wet ingredients. For that lovely earthy flavor, we're gonna add two inches of ginger, which I've just sliced up, and 15 cloves of garlic. And to bring it all together from that lovely paste, we're gonna go in with one and a quarter cup of vinegar. Now let's blend it all together. You want to go in with a cut of meat that has a high fat content because that helps to develop the gravy and also adds to the flavor. We're going in with five and a half pounds or approximately two and a half kilograms of pork belly, which I've cut into small cubes. Now let's add that lovely marinade to the meat. Let's give this a mix and get that marinade on every piece of the meat. Bindalo is best cooked a few days in advance so that the flavors mature and the meat absorbs all the deliciousness. Now let's cover this with a plastic wrap and allow it to marinate for at least four hours before we cook it. To a heated pot, we're gonna add some vegetable oil and now we're gonna to toss in three large onions that we have finely chopped. We're going to saute the onions till they turn nice and translucent. This should take us about five to 10 minutes. Now let's add in the marinated meat and give it a good mix so that the onions and the meat get incorporated well. Now let's season this with some salt to taste. I'm adding in about three teaspoons and let's give it a quick mix. We're gonna cover this with the lid and lower the heat to a medium low. After about 20 to 30 minutes, we're gonna take off the lid and add in half cup of water. I swirl mine in the bowl to pick up all the leftover marinade. To get that lovely flavor, we're going to season it with two tablespoons of vinegar and two and a half tablespoons of sugar and give it a good mix. Now let's put the lid back on and allow it to cook low and slow for approximately an hour, giving it a stir occasionally. Now let's give this a taste and see if we need to season this anymore. I'm going to go in with a little more salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of vinegar. Let's cook this for another 10 to 15 minutes uncovered and when the meat is nice and tender, we're gonna take it off the heat. And look at that. Now let's give this a taste. Mm. Hey, and before I go, if you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe. And if you hit on that bell icon, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. If you enjoy watching my videos, give me a big thumbs up and leave me your comments below. 
Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. The information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.